In this episode I'm going to one of the most visited places in Austria. Place sought after by bikers, full of twisty roads, mountain peaks covered with snow, beautiful sceneries including over 8 km long glacier. Place where you and your bike belong. This is Grossglockner. I left the hotel early in the morning, stopped at the nearest gas station to fill up and finally hit the road. So far I've covered around 3000 km over 4 countries. In the last episode I started the second part of my journey by crossing into Austria. As I was getting closer to the Eastern Alps, Dolomites and Swiss Alps, I felt super excited because riding there has always been my dream since I got my bike. One of the main destinations of my entire trip is the highest surface mountain pass road in Austria at 2,504 meters elevation, the Grossglockner High Alpine Road. 1 hour 20 minutes, 73 kilometers to Grossglockner. I really can't wait to get there. I traveled there from the north and after going through several tunnels I at last caught a glimpse of a snowy mountain peaks in the distance. It was a remarkable route along which I had driven past many fellow bikers. I wanted to get there as soon as possible because I was aware of where I was going. With about 270,000 vehicles and 900,000 visitors every year, it is one of the most visited places in Austria. Soon thereafter I arrived and headed straight to the counter to buy a ticket. Hello! One ticket, please. It is a toll road. For motorcycles, it's 28 euros. Thank you. Bye. But the fabulous high alpine scenery makes up for the expenses. The road is open every year from May to November. In winter it becomes impossible due to masses of snow. The mountain pass road with total of 48 kilometers and 36 turns leads deep into the center of Austria's largest national park, Hohenthalen. It's also one of the most scenic road passes in Europe.
Even though my bike was fully loaded with two side panniers, a dope box, crash bar bags and a tank bag, the road was easy to drive. Running the Continental Trail Attack 3 road tires, I felt very confident. Until I reached this part of the road which leads to the viewpoint. This is kind of difficult over here. As I had never ridden similar road before and I'm not really an experienced rider, I struggled to get to the top because of its unstable surface and very sharp and steep turns. And I'm here. But once you get there and the weather conditions are good, you can fully enjoy the scenery from each side. I genuinely couldn't get enough of the view everywhere around. I just don't want to leave from here. Oh man. I felt very lucky to have the perfect weather for visiting such a place. It's not too hot, obviously, because I'm uh, in a high altitude, about 2,500 meters above the sea level. So it's not that hot in here, but man, it's just incredible. I'm speechless. And when I thought it couldn't get any better, the road took me directly beneath the highest mountain in Austria, the Grossglockne, where also lies the longest glacier in the Eastern Alps. The Pasterse glacier is approximately 8 km long and its length currently decreasing by about 50 meters every year. At the end of the road there is a restaurant, museum, and a free parking from where you can fully enjoy the view. As I didn't have much time, I only had a quick look at the glacier.
end of the road, I felt very happy and satisfied because I finally fulfilled one of my dreams. And if you're looking for some beautiful adventure with amazing scenery, this is the place to go. As I was going down, I saw the peak of the Grossglockner for the last time. I'm still quite far away from my uh, next recommendation, which is in Italy already. So I'm still crossing Italy tonight. It's already five o'clock and I still have about three hours to go. 180 kilometers. So it's time to make some distance. Is this even real? Look at that! Welcome to Italia! Italia! Even though I was getting pretty tired, the scenery around me was giving me the energy I needed to continue. On the way from Austria to northern Italy, I was surrounded by beautiful mountains the whole time. Some of them looked like they were going to fall, and some looked like they were painted on the horizon. But this was only the beginning. In the next episode I'll be riding through some famous mountain passes in Dolomites. <laughs>